Since the discovery of the outer world started, space stations have been willing to learn more about space and its things. There is an obsession among the masses regarding the things in space like the meteoroids, stars, moons, and planets, and now the satellites and voyagers being sent to space every now and then. A contact from space has been recorded by one of the voyagers, sending chills to the spine. All this started when a 45-year-old Voyager sent in 1977 started glitching. NASA's Voyager 1 mission entered what scientists call interstellar space in 2012 and has since continued on its journey. The spacecraft is now 14.5 billion miles, 23.3 billion kilometers, from Earth. While Voyager 1 is still operational, scientists on the mission recently noticed that it appeared confused about its location in space without entering safe mode or sounding an alarm. Susan Dodd, project manager for Voyager 1 and its twin, Voyager 2, at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California said, A mystery like this is sort of par for the course at this stage of the Voyager mission. The spacecraft are both almost 45 years old, which is far beyond what the mission planner anticipated, Dodd added. We're also in interstellar space, a high-radiation environment that no spacecraft has flown in before. The Attitude Articulation and Control System AACS, of the probe is in charge of controlling the spacecraft's orientation, pointing its high-gain antenna towards Earth, and controlling attitude maneuvers. There are speculations that the problem is with Voyager 1's Attitude Articulation and Control System, or AACS, which keeps the spacecraft and its antenna oriented correctly and the AACS appears to be operational, as the spacecraft is receiving commands, acting on them, and transmitting science data back to Earth with the same signal strength as before. Nonetheless, the AACS is sending junk telemetry data to the spacecraft's handlers. NASA explained about the glitch. The data may appear randomly generated or does not reflect any possible state the AACS could be in. The NASA statement does not specify when or how long the problem has existed. According to the agency, Voyager personnel will continue to investigate the problem and attempt to fix it or adapt to it. That is a slow process because a signal from Earth takes 20 hours and 33 minutes to reach Voyager 1. Receiving the spacecraft's response takes the same amount of time. The glitch has got attention because even after that, the Voyager 1 is working perfectly. Voyager 1 appears to be functioning normally, gathering and returning scientific data. It receives and executes commands from Earth, though due to its great distance from Earth, sending a message and receiving a response takes about two days. NASA states that we are still in communication with Voyager 1, and we know the antenna is still pointing towards us, regardless of the strange nature of the telemetry data readings. Talking about its twin Voyager, Voyager 2, NASA stated that the spacecraft is behaving normally. The power the twin spacecraft can generate is constantly decreasing, and mission team members have turned off some components to save power, measures they hope will have the probes operational until at least 2025. As Dodd said, there are some big challenges for the engineering team, but I think if there's a way to solve this issue with the AACS, our team will find it. The team will continue to closely monitor the signal in order to determine whether the invalid data is coming directly from the AACS or another system involved in the production and transmission of telemetry data. The team cannot predict how long the spacecraft will be able to collect and transmit science data until the nature of the problem is better understood. No spacecraft has traveled as far as NASA's Voyager 1. Voyager 1, which was launched in 1977 to fly by Jupiter and Saturn, crossed into interstellar space in August 2012 and is still collecting data. Voyager 1 and its sister ship, Voyager 2, have been in orbit for the longest time of any spacecraft in history. The Voyager missions not only provide humanity with observations of truly uncharted territory, but also help scientists understand the very nature of energy and radiation in space critical information for protecting future missions and astronauts. You might be surprised to know that the Golden Record, a message from humanity to the cosmos that includes greetings in 55 languages, images of people and places on Earth, and music ranging from Beethoven to Chuck Berry's Johnny B. Good, is carried by Voyager 1. The record includes symbols that depict Earth's position in relative to several pulsars, the records also include instructions for playing them, with a cartridge and a needle, similar to a vinyl record player. 
It also includes 115 images of Earth's life and greetings recorded by then-U.S. President Jimmy Carter, 1924, and then-U.N. Secretary General Kurt Waldheim, 1918-2007. Voyager 1 discovered a thin ring around Jupiter and two new Jovian moons, Thebe and Metis. At Saturn, Voyager 1 found five new moons and a new ring called the G-Ring. If we define our solar system as the Sun and everything that orbits it, Voyager 1 will stay within its confines until it emerges from the Oort cloud in another 14,000 to 28,000 years. It is evident that Voyager 1 is the most distant human-made object from Earth. Working with a system that is so far away and that was designed so many decades ago presents a number of challenges in addition to the communication lag. Even with the most powerful earthly telescopes, Voyager 1 is far too faint to be seen. The voyage of Voyager 1 has previously encountered difficulties. The spacecraft's primary thrusters were showing signs of wear and tear in 2017. On Voyager 1, engineers used thrusters that had previously been used during the mission's planetary encounters 37 years before. It's yet another example of the Voyager spacecraft's remarkable longevity and ingenious design. Since the Voyager 1 has entered interstellar space, a high-radiation environment that any of the satellites or Voyagers has never encountered in the past, the engineering team is under tremendous pressure to solve this mystery. The two Voyagers are now more than 11 billion miles, 18 billion kilometers, away from the Sun and its warmth. Mission engineers began implementing a new management plan for the Vintage robots in 2019 to ensure they could return the best scientific data possible. The plan necessitates difficult decisions, particularly regarding the spacecraft's instruments and thrusters. The more we learn about the universe, the more it appears that we're not alone. The entire galaxy is teeming with worlds, and we're getting better at listening, so we might be able to answer the question, is there anybody out there, soon? The possibility of this glitch being a signal from the aliens is also viable, because a growing number of astronomers have decided to solve the alien mystery. Some propose sweeping a beacon across the galaxy to alert ET that we've arrived and to see if anyone comes calling. Others argue that we should keep Earth to ourselves. According to Lucianne Walkowicz, an astrophysicist at the Alder Planetarium in Chicago, there's a possibility that if we actively message with the intention of getting the attention of an intelligent civilization, that the civilization we contact would not necessarily have our best interests in mind. On the other hand, there might be great benefits. It could be something that ends life on Earth, and it might be something that accelerates the ability to live quality lives on Earth. We have no way of knowing. Astronomers have also proposed that aliens may be afraid of us or believe we are unworthy of their attention, for example. Or it's possible that aliens communicate in ways that we don't understand and we're simply not hearing them. Perhaps aliens lack all communication abilities, of course, there's always the possibility that no aliens exist. We truly hope the scientists come up with some good answers to the Voyager 1 glitch. This brings us to the end of the video. We're still not sure if the signals were from an extraterrestrial being or the effects of the interstellar space, or if it's a technical difficulty being encountered by almost half a century old Voyager. We hope the engineers and astrophysicists come up with the best explanation. Let us know in the comments section what you think about the whole situation and if you believe it could be aliens. We will be back with more interesting videos. Until then, like the video and subscribe to our channel and stay updated on our latest videos.